This morning, a friend of mine came over for coffee, and uh, he brought with him this old top. And uh, the top was missing the base. And he was wondering if possibly I could make a base for it. Everything else seemed to be okay. The uh, rod that you pump up and down to make the clock spin wasn't bent or anything, and the uh, mechanism all seemed to be working okay. So I thought, you know, it might be worth a try. My first thought was just to make a round plug, as shown here, that would fit in the bottom. But after thinking about it for a while, I realized that I could extend the plug up, and then all the way to the top, and then drill a hole down through the uh, wooden shaft that I was making, and then the rod from the uh, plunger would be able to uh, go down through this hole, and uh, the top would actually probably work just like new again. There was a piece of cardboard up inside the top that I had to remove. There was some sort of a label stuck on there and I could tell it had been on there for quite a while because the glue had actually become powdery. I took pretty well every measurement I could think of. I measured the distance that the plunger traveled up and down, uh, the diameter of the hole, uh, stuff like that. Because I got myself so busy making this thing, I forgot to video the procedure as I went along, and that, that's really too bad, uh, because that would have been the most interesting part of the video. And uh, This is the only clip I've got of actually turning that uh, part that goes up into the top. When I was making this uh, thing, I thought that what I would do is I would just glue it in place, but after I, I tried it, I realized that the fit was so tight that it just pressure fitted right in there. It's not going to come out. Well, there we are, and it works just fine. And you know, when I was pumping it up and down there, it sort of brought back a kind of a haunting memory. I wonder if I had one of those when I was a kid. I'm guessing by the design and everything, that thing's probably about 50 years old at least. Well, I got curious, and I went on the internet, and I found this exact same top. It's uh, apparently made in Germany. Uh, it's made in 1984, and uh, this guy's asking $22 for his. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope some kid enjoys this little top.